So I'm a little bit passionate about being able to open my own jars. And when I can't get a jar open by myself, it's like this major form of defeat. So I wanna to talk to you today about a few areas if you would like to get stronger at opening jars that you can work on at home to make it a bit easier. Now I'm gonna have a few exercises that use specialized equipment, but I'm also gonna throw a few ideas at you that do not use any specialized equipment. Uh, probably things that you already have around the house. So you have both of those options. When you think about the strength needed to open a jar, you have shoulder internal rotation. Okay, jars generally open counterclockwise. That elbow generally comes out when you go to open a jar, shoulder goes in. This is internal rotation. So you need shoulder strength for internal rotation. You need radial deviation in the forearm because your forearm, when you go to open that jar, pretend you're opening a jar right now, your forearm, uh, your wrist has to turn in. Okay, so you get that radial deviation strength in your forearm. You also need pinch strength. So it's a different kind of grip strength than you would think about for maybe say climbing or hanging from a bar. Okay, those are different, that's a different form of grip strength than opening a jar, because a jar you have to have that thumb opposition to grip the lid to be able to twist it open. All right, so for each of these components, let's go over a quick exercise to help. The first exercise is if you have any kind of stretchy exercise band at home, you can simply hold the band and do internal rotation. So elbow stays tucked in by your side and you're gonna bring your arm across your body. Okay, so that is shoulder internal rotation and that will help build your shoulder strength for being able to open jars. Now, let's talk about the wrist. So when we think about that radial deviation, you're gonna to need to be able to turn your wrist this way. You can grab the band like I just had and do some radial deviation with the band, with your wrist. Or if you have a hammer at home, you don't have a band, you can simply do lifts with the hammer where you lower down and lift up. Now this is that radial deviation and that will help strengthen your wrist. Now if you just feel like your wrists are just really weak all the way around for everything, then doing some full kind of thing about a half clock with a hammer can be a great idea for wrist strengthening for all the way around. All right, now let's look at finger strength. If you have some specialized equipment, uh, you can do a couple things. Now, at home, make it super easy. This is a fancy thing of nuts from Costco. But you can see here how it has a nice big lid and oftentimes the containers with the big lids can be hard. This one's pretty easy to open, but just saying, those big lids. This is a great place to practice strength. So if you have any type of, uh, maybe, I save these for kids' uh, toy storage. So I put little toys in here, little animals and stuff. This is perfect for kids' storage. So if you have any of these just around the house that you save for that purpose, fill it with water or fill it with sand, and then you can grip and you can hold it up. So filled with water or sand, this gets fairly heavy. Uh, it gets a bit of weight on it, and you can practice gripping with your thumb and your fingers so you can develop that grip strength with your arm, okay, with your hand. All right, now, if you want to join me in a little bit of specialized equipment, this is a little pinch block, okay? So this is just uh, some boards, two screws, and a um, eye hook eyeball that goes in. So if you have somebody who's really bored while we're in the pandemic right now and is doing some woodworking, this is pretty easy to throw together. And then if you have any type of weight at home, kettlebell works well because it has the handle to hook around. Um, but if you have any other type of weight at home, uh, you can just simply hook the band to it with a, with a rope of some kind and you can pinch the block. Um, and this will give you that pinch strength for working on being able to strengthen your thumb. If you do not want to jump through hoops for that kind of setup, I have a couple more ideas for you. If you take your kettlebell, if you have a kettlebell at home, or a dumbbell, the end of the dumbbell, you can grip the end of the dumbbell. This one is pretty heavy. You can grip the end of the dumbbell, just, and the, or the kettlebell, just don't let it drop on your toes. And this is a great way to practice that grip strength needed to be able to grip the jar to turn it. If you have plates at home, you can do the same thing with plates. 
Um, even great if you're working on farmer's carry. You can grip a plate for a farmer's carry versus, see the different type of grip here? I don't need my thumb to hold a handle. I don't need my thumb to hold a kettlebell or to hold a free weight, but I do need my thumb to pinch a, a weight. Okay, so those are some great ideas for strengthening your shoulder, your forearm, and your hands to be able to crank open those jars.